Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord's Weekend God's Life. So, the Apostle John writes, they will know us by our love, that Christians actually look like something. Christians are supposed to be loving, and love, well, Love looks like the first eight commandments. But that doesn't look like you. God gives us two more just to make sure you understand it. The last commandment, therefore, is not given for rogues in the eyes of the world, but for the most pious who wish to be praised and called honest and upright people. You know, the people who want to be seen as loving and Christian, like me. Um, the law... The law just doesn't paint a picture of me, at least not in a kind way. Every time it tries, I end up looking like a sinner. But the law, when it's actually upheld in love, that, that looks like Jesus. You see, it paints a picture, the entire Decalogue, the entire Ten Commandments, it paints a picture of Christ. And when you want to dress up like him, God gives us ten commandments, not just eight. Those last two coveting ones that, that help point out that there is a difference between a sinful heart and a loving heart. That if you just wish to be known as wise or pious or loving in the eyes of the world, um, then these last two commandments are also for you. That you might also recognize your need for Christ. Because love does look like something. It looks like a Christ who would bleed for you and for me, for sinners everywhere, that we might be called forgiven. It looks like a love that not just loves you, but also loves your neighbor. That when we deal with these last two commandments, thou shalt not covet, that it's not just that we would not take our neighbor's money or possessions or house or any of these things, but that we would actually want good for them, even as God wants good for them. That in whatever way such things happen, we must know that God does not wish that you deprive your neighbor of anything that belongs to him. You see, the entirety of God's law paints a picture of Jesus, who doesn't just outwardly act pious and nice, but actually, inwardly, loves you and your neighbor with a sinless heart that actually wants to see you well supplied for all of you. And so he commands us, thou shalt not covet, don't scheme against each other, even if you can manage to outwardly look loving. The law does not a paint a picture of you. It paints a picture of Jesus. And that is a freeing thing because now you don't have to worry so much about whether or not you measure up to its demands and look loving enough. The law paints a picture of Jesus. The gospel paints a picture of you. You are somebody that Jesus died for. You are baptized. Your identity is found in his blood and righteousness. The law paints a picture of Jesus. And that doesn't mean that we reject it. Why would you? Why would you reject something that looks like your God? Why would you not want to be close to the thing that looks like your God? Why would you not find great comfort in the fact that this is him and this is what love actually looks like? Love looks like Jesus and they will know us by our love, by the love given to us that lets us finally look away from our own appearances to the well-being of our neighbor. You know, the neighbor that Jesus loves, that one. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on the support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. Higherthings.org slash support. Give today.